Welcome and thank you for joining in to today's Positive Forward Motion. This is your host, Denise Scattergood. Each week I discuss a topic that is designed to help you get more of what you do want and less of what you don't want, both personally and professionally. My goal is to add value to others by sharing a topic in eight minutes or less, topics that will empower, motivate, and inspire you to have more happiness and success. Today's topic is joy. Joyful, happy people embrace who they are. They don't try to be something they're not. I mean, just the word itself is a great reminder. I like to think of joy, J-O-Y, as just own yourself. And when I see others that are happy and joyful, I notice that they're doing just that. The positive energy and the happiness they exude is so just super inspirational. I mean, I bet you notice it too. And as a matter of fact, I just witnessed this this past weekend. I was invited to see a blues performer. His name is Albert Cummings perform in an opera house up in Jim Thorpe, PA. I'm going to give a shout out to Jim Thorpe. Um, And if you've never been there, I suggest you go a really quaint, cool town in Pennsylvania. And the main act of the show, as I mentioned, his name is Albert and he's a great blues guitarist. And I recommend going to seeing him if you get a chance to. But the surprise star of the show for us was the drummer. More than once, the group I was with, as well as people around us, all commented on the energy and pure joy that the drummer was just sending to the audience. I just thought, wow, he is really owning himself. And I thought, gosh, I'd love to meet this guy. And as luck would have it, the very next morning as I was walking out of a coffee shop, who was standing right across the street? Yep. You guessed it, it was the drummer. I learned his name is Warren Grant, and for anyone who knows me, well, I was owning myself. As I ran across the street, proceeding to tell him how excited I was to meet him and how much we could feel his positive energy and and joy during his performance. He was super gracious, humble, and very thankful. And just as I would have guessed it, he was as much a joy in person as he was on stage. And it got me thinking, What makes some people so much more joyful than others? You know who I mean, those people who just seem so excited to just be alive. Well, I believe it has to do with just owning yourself, as I mentioned earlier, the word joy. And it's not really that difficult. And you know what? Today I'm going to give you three simple steps to help you live a happier, more joyful life. So here's number one. Mind your own business. Just own yourself. Make a plan today to stop comparing yourself to others. Stop worrying so much about what others are up to. I mean, I have a saying that I adopted a long time ago when I was living in a neighborhood where, man, everybody worried about each other more than they worried about themselves. And one day I had a neighbor ask me, like, don't you really care? And I was like, well, I guess I don't. My response was, I mean, unless they're affecting the quality of my life or my children's life, I mean, really, why should I care? I mean, the best way to zap joy and happiness from your own life is to waste your time and energy on worrying or trying to control what everybody else is doing. And number two is to be still. When was the last time you spent time with yourself? And you might say, Denise, I'm with myself all day. But what I mean here is really spend time with just you. I mean, just you, no phone, no Apple Watch, no TV, no music, just you. And I don't want you to try to find the time to do this. I want you to make the time to do this. And you know why? Because the benefits are amazing and you are worth it. And I bet you can find 30 minutes a day to unplug, unwind, be still, and get to know yourself. Give yourself time to relax and let the noise of the world fade away. Then reflect on the direction of your life. Identify the things that are bringing you joy And the things that are bringing you stress, where do you need to adjust? Figure it out and then make a plan to adjust and reset and regroup so you can move forward. And number three is to be a giving person. Rather than waiting on receiving, 
to make your life happy and joyful, you need to start giving. And the best place to start is to give away what you wish to receive. So if you want more kindness, then you need to be kinder. If you wish others had more patience, then you need to be more patient. If you wish others were more reasonable, then practice being reasonable yourself. You get the picture here, right? Rather than waiting for things to be better, I need you to be the things. And watch how when you add value and joy to others, it cannot help but to boomerang bounce right back to you and land right in your lap. And before we go today, I'm going to leave you with this one last thought. If you can't find joy in the path you are on and what you are working towards right now, how do you expect to find joy once you get there? Thank you so much for listening in and your support of Positive Forward Motion. I really do find joy in sharing my message of positivity. And if you do as well, then I encourage you to please share, rate, and review this podcast. Remember, you can get reminders in your daily dose of positivity simply by texting the word positive to 313131. And we can also connect on Instagram and Facebook. So just look up Denise Scattergood. That's D-E-N-I-S-E. Scattergood, S-C-A-T-T-E-R-G-O-O-D. And as always, I am wishing you continued happiness and success, both personally and professionally. And remember to keep up the positive forward motion.